भाई दिस इज माई होम मेड सेवन फोर डबल जीरो सेवन फोर हंड्रेड आई सी दिस इज ए क्वार नाइनटी आई सी टेक यू लुक एट दिस दिस इज मेड विथ फ्यू रजिस्टर्स एंड ट्रेजिस्टर्स दियर इज नाइन क्वेश्चन ऑफ सेवन फोर डबल जीरो विच है सम प्रॉब्लम्स एंड कॉन्ज्यूम मोर कैंड सो हाई दिस टू बिल दिस वन दिस टेक यू लुक दिस इज माई पॉजिटिव सप्लाई एंड पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव सप्लाई फ्रॉम यूजिंग बोर्ड This is green and irritability. This is actually a logic probe. And when I connect this to the positive supply and the black one to the negative supply using pins, I can see if in the probing point I connect the positive one, then the green LED glows. So it is our logical one. And when I connect the black wire to the to this probe, the red LED glows. So red LED is our geo. Now I connect the negative to the IC is negative point in pin number seven and positive to the pin number fourteen. Here's the interesting thing that if I insert a, a, an LED here in between pin number fourteen and pin number and our positive supply, then the LED does not close. But whereas in case of a real seven four double X anything logical IC, when I connect. negative to the negative pin and positive pin via a led then we can see the led glows here it is the negative to the negative pin and the positive through a led to a positive pin and the led glows so it means that when input and output nothing is connected then also the device is consuming some power and uh, this problem is overcome with my home made seven four double zero ic seven four double zero is a nand ic and through which we can make any circuits now i connect this positive and the negative negative and the positive to this ic now i hook up a output one of the four nand gates output to this blue wire and connect this to a of logical probe Hmm. Then you can see the green LED glows. That means logical one. So the NAND gate is outputting the logical one. As we know, the NAND gate outputs one if the inputs are zero. Here the input is default by default is zero because this is not a tri-state device. Tri-state input and tri-state output is not supported in any manners. Now I connect two wires to the specific NAND gate's inputs, whose output is connected with the LED. Now. I inspect the inputs. Here are my two inputs, two yellow wires. Now I connect this to a negative. That means zero, and this also is zero. Output is one. When this one is one and this one is zero, then also output one. When this one is zero and this one is one, output is one. When both are one, the output is zero. So it is a NAND gate. The same. Circuit is used for all four NAND gates here, and when it is in operation, let's check the current if it is consuming something. I remove the positive terminal and connect the uh, to an LED. Yes, LED glows, so it is consuming power. I un disconnect this. When I disconnect, when it is disconnect this, I can see there is no. Power consuming. Through the out, though the output is connected, there is no input connection. And when there is no input, there should be no output. And when there will be no output, then it should not consume any power. And we are, we can see it is not consuming any power. And when I remove the outputs from it, this, then the output is also not connected to anything. So the device becomes absolutely zero power device. It is not consuming anything. And whereas in, we have already seen the case of a general. So a, a normal IC of 7400 series. This is a 74 LS 47. Whereas in, if I connect this, then I can see the device is consuming some power. So the, this version is definitely better in terms of um, energy efficiency. Now when I took, uh, take a look at the data sheet of the 7400, I can see the Supply voltage, so this is it, is 4.5 to 5.5, normally 5. And 
I have used here BC547 transistors and in BC547 transistors data sheet I can see the maximum voltage is 65 volt and in actually BC547 open emitter conditions can be 50 volt so we can use this in high voltage application where the original sorry, logical ICs cannot bear more than 5.5 volt, 5 volts and the current output through this is output collector current the C of PC547 is 100 milliamps and where in the 7400 IC the current is just 10 or 20, 20 milliamps current low level current output 20 milliamps and high level current output lesser than this milliamps so no, homemade version of 7400 IC has more output current five, uh, at this is 5 times because it is 100 milliampere and that was 20 milliampere and the input voltage range is 0 to 5 volt in the case of a real IC and our system can make use of up to 50 volts so this is definitely a better one